Fearless Danish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. That's a mouthful. Like, why, why y'all had to make that name of that foundation a paragraph? Why could just be called Vanish? But anywho, I'm Channel. It's your girl, Chrishell Siobhan, and today we're going to be doing a product review on the new Hourglass Banish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. That's a lot of L's and F's and V's, but um, yeah, it is $56, and you get, it comes with 32 shades. It is said to be full coverage with the natural finish, and it says for normal combination and oily skin type, but if it's a natural finish, I don't understand why people with dry skin can't use it. But anywho, of course you know it's vegan and cruelty free because it's hourglass, paraben free, all the nasty stuff is not in here. But we're going to try this out today. And I got the shade, which, which shade is this? I'm gonna say this is the almond shade. I'm, I'm not even sure. Because of course the girl did not write it on my sample bag. You know I get samples because I'm not about to be buying no whole bottles and I'm not on PR list yet. So we're gonna sample it out. But I wanna say this is a Shea Almond. Most of the things that I use in Hourglass are almond. So I'm just gonna dip right in it. I did my eyebrows off camera. I primed my face with my bell, my Hourglass Bell Primer. So we're going to see what this is giving. Okay. So, offhand, it has, the scent of it is like, it, it smells like almonds to be quite honest. It has like a nutty smell. <laughs> I don't know what type of description that was for a foundation, but I swear to y'all this smells like almonds. Like, I don't know if it's my mind playing tricks on me because I have the shade almond. I don't know. But I would definitely say this is a full coverage foundation and it's, it's really creamy. It goes on smooth. I'm using a flat brush today. Usually I use my little fluffy, um, what is this, 45 from Sephora, but I'm going in with a flat brush today. Because I wanted to see how it applied and I didn't want any product getting lost in my brush. But it's definitely full coverage. Like my entire face is, is I still have foundation to move around. So I'm just gonna see this everywhere. Just to give me an even face. And yeah, it's really moisturizing. I kind of feel like I just put a moisturizer on my face. Like I could have just took this with my hands and just rubbed it all over. But it's not thick to the point where it's like, I feel like I'm putting cake batter on my face. It's really nice. And it's definitely given flawless and seamless because even normally when I use a brush like a flat brush I get the brush strokes in my face and you'll see kind of like lines from the brush but with this I feel like this is just like melting into my skin like I, it's really nice this is really really nice hourglass going on nice but um I'm about to go to a photo shoot. I might use this on models if I like how I'm looking by the time I get to the photo shoot. I know one of them is like my complexion, but yeah. Now I'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush and just buff it out. But this is definitely full coverage. I didn't have to do any color correcting or anything, and I'm one flat color. So, it's winter time, it's cold here in DC, so 
this should hold up well. Like I shouldn't be cracked up, flaky, dry, crusty by the time I get in because it's a natural finish. So this should be perfect for the winter time. I, I hope they get this right because I would like for me, I do feel like they still need to expand their color range. Like they definitely need to do that. And give us some more brown shades. Cause like I'm almond and that's kinda like pushing close of the end of the brown spectrum line. So they definitely need some more colors. But I just want them to get a foundation that's right. Like the stick, I tried the stick, it was cool, but it didn't last long. Like, I would have to put more on throughout the day. And I don't like to do that. Like, I feel like if I put on a foundation, it should last me at least eight hours. Like, I should not have to go back in the middle of the day and be reapplying foundation. So, here we are. Flat, blended, bottom bone. So it does have a dewy glow. You see how I'm kind of like glowy or look like I'm kind of wet. I'm not wet, but it has that natural dewy finish to it. So I'm gonna set it with some powder because I wanna see if the powder will take down some of the dewy. So with the powder, I still feel moisturized. Like this foundation feels really, really good. And like I said, it is definitely full coverage. I dipped my brush in that sample cup one time. This is me with powder. So I'm going to, while I'm out tonight, I'm going to take a picture, of course, for a flash test. I'm gonna come back in and let you all know how this looks and what I feel about it after some hours and after me being out in the cold. So, I think it's true to its full coverage claim and the natural finish. And what else do they claiming with this? Need more. This highly concentrated formula provides full coverage with minimal product chatting. That's true. Um, it applies like a second skin, creating smooth and flawless complexion. Check, that's true. And light reflecting microspheres blur and create a soft focus finish. We ain't gonna check that off the list yet because I'm gonna take a picture and let y'all know how that go. And then it says this non-common, this word, non-commodogenic, okay. Non-commodogenic formula is waterproof, transfer-proof, and sweat-proof. Now, y'all know I'm going to test all that out. Like, now I'm about to go for a run. I'm going to be wiping my face just to see if it comes off and transfers. Like, I'm going to hold you to what you say. So, whatever you say this product does, I'm going to hold you to it. So, I'm definitely going to come back and tell y'all what's up with it. But I definitely was sweating before I started this video because I got out the shower. So, I wipe my face. I'm not sweating anymore. But, I'm gonna still tell y'all how it goes. Look like she might be on or something if you get some more color. But, um, with hourglasses given in a couple of hours. 
All right. It says, based on a weak consumer study of 31 women. Why just 31? Y'all can get more than 31 people to test this. 97 felt the foundation had the coverage of a concealer. 94% felt the foundation made their skin look smoother. 94% felt the foundation effectively covered skin imperfections. Well, that 97 and that 94% wasn't lying. But like I said, I'm going to test this photo. Because, uh... If I don't get a soft focus finish on my picture and I get some flashback and looking crazy, we gonna have some issues. And uh, waterproof, yeah, look. I don't know about the waterproof test. I might try that for y'all. But this transfer proof, matter of fact, yeah, I wiped it, a little bit came on, which, well, I mean, that's what came on to my hand that little patch right there. This is my finger that I wiped it with. So I mean, it's not that much, but like I told y'all, some people be taking it overboard with smudge proofing and make stuff so dry that it crack up off your face and you can't move. But it feels good. And I'm just gonna come back to y'all later on and let y'all know what's up with this out. Okay, Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. That's a mouthful. Like, why, why I had to make that name of that foundation a paragraph? Why could it just be called Vanish? But anywho, I'm about to vanish. I'll see you guys later, and we'll let you know what's up with this foundation. Okay, people, we're back, and we are about to get into how this... Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation held up. So I forgot to do a time check when I was doing my makeup, but it was like five something. And it is now 11 o'clock. So this is my face after six hours. And the shade that I used was Golden Almond, not just almond, it was Golden Almond because I like the golden yellow undertones. Like, I don't want no neutral nothing. So, after six hours, we'll say, this is my face. I have not blotted it. I have not touched anything whatsoever. Last you all saw me do was touch my face so we could do the, uh, the, what's it called? The damn touch. <laughs> I'm so tired. I've been up since freaking who knows. But we, I touched my face so I could do the freaking um, transfer test. That's what I was trying to do. But yeah. So the last time I touched my face was when we did the transfer test. And a little bit came off. But like I said, I have not blotted my face. I have not touched my face in the six hours that I've been gone. So I went outside, went to the photo shoot. Oh my gosh, let's talk about this sweat. So, I went to the photo shoot and it was lights everywhere. So, I definitely started sweating, but my face held up. It didn't melt away. It, I didn't like feel like I should be touching it to the point where I had to, oh my gosh, let me wipe my face. I'm sweating. Like, it wasn't like that. Like, I will not say that it held the sweat in, but. I don't think I was sweating to the point where sweat beads would even come on my face anyway. But I definitely was hot and sweaty. And my face held up pretty well. So, hourglass. You might have did it. But I'm still saying they need more shades. Because I would say this foundation held up pretty long. It's not like they stamped the hour. You know how some foundations are like, we last for 15 hours, we last for 24, 48, like, we never ought to do all that. So our last made it their business to not give us a time stamp, but like I said, it's been six hours and my face still looks good. A little bit of glow is starting to come out because I do get typically oily in my T-zone area, but as far as the look of the foundation and the feel, it still feels the same. So like, I don't feel like my pores are enlarged or anything. 
like I literally just feel like it's starting to glow where it always glows. So, Hourglass, you get A. I'll give you an A minus B plus because your shade range is very limited when it comes to the brown shade. So let's look at this. Because I am golden almond, so I'm gonna tell you how many colors are after golden almond. So golden almond has, if there are literally five shades after me. So granted that might cover the color range of darkness in brown women and black women, but there's probably like no undertone. Like, let me see what this is. So almond is medium deep with cool undertones. Then you have sable, medium deep with neutral undertones. Then you go walnut deep, warm undertones. Chestnut deep, neutral undertones. And espresso deep, cool undertones. So literally there are five colors after me, but you just won't get the basic. Whereas everything before me, like the lightest color is beige. And that says medium warm undertones. But like I said, a lot of these brands need to expand on the brown shades. Like you have the vanillas, you got the butter Peter Ricans, you got all of the light and the brown. Okay, but then when it gets to the black, it's kind of like, here you go, that's all you get. But as far as the foundation goes, we will say Hourglass definitely gets my stamp of approval on this one. And I'm very finicky about foundations, but I really feel like this is a good one. It's really full coverage. It gives you a natural, this is good for dry skin. I don't know why they didn't say anything about dry skin, but if you got dry skin, you definitely want to use this because it's very hydrating. And like I said, it gives you a natural glow finish and it's not drying down to a match. So if you have dry skin, you definitely should try this foundation out. I don't care what they said. They, they left that part out, but I think it was on accident. Because y'all can use this, every skin type can use this. Like oily skin type, I feel like you could use this, but you should use a mattifying primer. Wherever you get oily, you should definitely use a mattifying primer. But like if your whole face is oily, then I wouldn't suggest you using really any natural finish foundations if you want that flawless, all night, beat face look. But I will say, Hourglass, you pass Chrissy's test, and you got an A in my book, but you need more colors, okay? More colors down the end of the spectrum, because I'm tired of seeing 57 vanilla colors and 10 brown colors. Like, what? That's not, that's not real life. Like, come on now. Why, why you need all the vanilla colors? Now, I done touched plenty of vanilla faces and I can pretty much use like three colors. It's gonna be golden, it's gonna be rose, or it's gonna be an olive neutral. But guess what? You don't need all the light colors. Even it out. Like, if you gonna have, um, a, a great grand assortment just break it down if you want to do 36 colors they have 12 vanillas 12 browns and 12 blacks like don't make your life so difficult now okay so here we go hourglass and this paragraph title is vanished seamless finished liquid foundation you get an a in my book for the coverage, you get an A for lasting at least six hours. Cause like I said, through a work day, I don't want to be changing my foundation or reapplying it. So like I said, you cannot see any flaws, any scarring, anything that I have on my face, you can't see it. And this is after six hours, so it has not worn off. Uh, my natural glow is starting to come through, but yeah. So hourglass, you get two bony thumbs up. And um, yeah, y'all need to listen when we say expand the ranges. Because everybody wants to participate in the beauty industry. Like, everybody wants to be 
able to go to the store, try something out, buy something, get new favorites, add to their collection. Everybody wants to be a part of that. So when you leave out the darker shades, it just leaves those women with money in their pocket and sometimes they want to spend it, okay? So take everybody into consideration because money is green and everybody got the money that they want to spend on something so if their guilty pleasure is cosmetics you're leaving them out okay so if you want to get the money you need to get the shades right all right all right so oh yeah i'm back i i took my lashes off <laughs> But, um, yes, so the flash photography test, I forgot to tell you all about that. I definitely took a picture. I took a picture of the dark and cut the flash on and the picture was bomb. Okay. So I'm going to drop that down below, but yes, the picture was bomb and hourglass, you, you, you might've shocked me on this one. But yes, like I said, everything is a okay picture came back great six hours later we're still looking great and yeah so see you guys later go try out that hourglass foundation their new full coverage foundation and let me know how you like it go to Sephora, get a sample test it out make sure you swatch it on your neck before you leave out the store don't be just picking up any color and yeah try it out let me know how you like it and get back to me don't forget to subscribe to my channel Give this video two thumbs up and holla at me later. Toodaloo.